Hi there, it's Emerson at Terium Games. I've just got a little uh, quick uh, helpful tip that for something that I've picked up. Um, I was having uh, problems packaging my, my little game to, to put the demo up on a website. Uh, when I packaged it, all of my child blueprints were losing all of their variables, including their meshes, and causing me all kinds of uh, drama. So uh, I've tr I tried lots of things, but because I have a, a Victory plugin uh, installed, uh, it wouldn't work. So what I needed to do was get rid of my child blueprints, but I still wanted to maintain uh, one character. So I've got my three characters, but I wanted to maintain one blueprint to control them all so that it kind of ports over to multiplayer easily or hopefully <laughs> uh, in my test so far um, you know I've had basic bits going but I'm just focusing on the single player thing for now so at the moment uh, you know you spawn as say a farmer you pick him out and then uh, um, there's there's I'm gonna smack you, what I have working now is Ooh. these guys will okay, respawn as the same character and it's all driven off the same blueprint. Now, one of the major problems that I had was uh, with the AI, I've been using their, their blackboard. But uh, in this case, um, for, my, for, my, for the player character, I had to use something called Expose on Spawn. Now, the thing with that is uh, Expose on Spawn is a very interesting one. Um, uh, I had to go around the long way and, and basically get all of my blueprints into one um, one big blueprint so there's no child. Um, so the expose on spawn um, thing has helped me out. Um, basically I've got a, I've got a function um, for when you when you spawn in uh, you've, you select w which character you want to play as and basically uh, if the if you select ninja on that select screen, It'll set the material, which is the skin on the on the main mesh here, and then the weapon. It'll set which weapon. It tells you it's been selected, uh, and that works for both the AI and the um, and the player. Um, now, when I spawn the AI, I'm setting uh, a boolean in their blackboard. So it's basically if it's a player, skip that part and and choose. But if it's a bot, go through this part. Um, now that was fine because I use uh, I possess the AI, so it's using the same blackboard that it had before. That's no problem. The AI was fine, but the player character, uh, when you respawn, you lose um, all of your uh, um, your your variables. Ah, here we are. Here's a, just an example of um, the uh, sounds. So I've had to combine the child blueprint. So it's basically uh, depending on which character play which set of sounds which is kind of a bulky way of doing things but um, until the game will package with child blueprints that's the only workaround I could figure so um, here's the here's the uh, the child um, expose on spawn in practice so when you spawn an actor you can basically carry your variables from previous um, unspawned uh, you know, you can add the variables back to your character, which is really handy because it sort of uh, means that you can, um, you know, in my case, the the character drops their weapon uh, when they when they die, and then so if you respawn, they've got to have a weapon, and so it wasn't possible just to change their position or anything like that. So they ragdoll. Then there's a delay, which I intend to put a countdown in there eventually. Um, then they spawn. Now let me just show you what, how that works. So. Uh, on my score, my score variable here, you see I've got expose on spawn, and see without that, let me just get rid of this. Without that, expose on spawn, when I recompile, you notice that that pin disappears, or it doesn't. No, it stays there, <laughs> but basically it, you don't have that anymore. Oh, I can try and plug it in and see what happens. But that's that's basically what all uh, Expose on Spawn does. It adds pins to your Spawn Actor node and it means you can add them in from death. So let me just show you what that looks like. If I hit play, run the demo, eventually, there we go, start single player game and I pick out the builder. He spawns in. Notice he's got a score of zero. I don't know if you can see that down on the left. I'll just wait for old mate to... Uh, 
to spawn up. It's a nice day, isn't it? Oh, let's just keep. Right, so there's a ninja there. I'll I'll get a, a, a point on the board for killing him. So there, I've got score one. And I should get another uh, spawner dropping in just for the process of this. So when he dies, it spawns another guy. <laughs> Stabs the wrong guy. So I'll just let him let him kill me. Oh, nice miss, mate. So then when I spawn, it's back to zero, you see. And so you want that to carry, that, that uh, score to carry. So once I hook this up and make sure that's exposed on spawn, compile that again. This will take just a second. I'll, I'll kill the guy, then let him kill me. Oh, I've got a message. Very nice. Uh, all right. I've just uh, got it set up to spawn after, I think, 15 seconds at the moment, just for getting this process working. So in the meantime, I play head soccer. Okay. So, I'm hello a there. Boy. No, I'm going to kill you. Ooh. Okay, he's dead. Um, like a pig. What you doing over there? What you doing over I'm there? Coming for you, boy. Smack your head in. And then I'll Ooh. let these guys kill me. Ooh. Right, and that means when I respawn, I have a still have my score. So there you go. That's how you use expose on spawn, basically to carry variables from previous uh, before you spawn, because they will reset if you respawn a blueprint. Hope that helps uh, somebody out there, uh, and thanks for watching.